Hello, my name's Hannah and welcome to Suffolk Archives. Today I'm going to show you a fabulous video about how to make a herd community elephant. What's a herd community elephant I hear you say? Let me show you. Initially I had the idea after seeing a lovely picture, which is here in the book, by Kay Harvey McCann. She had this picture on the Rainbow um, Facebook page and it said, we may not have it all together, but together we have it all. That really inspired me and I knew a lot of us were really struggling with isolation, nothing much to do, so I came up with the idea of herd community. I thought, we all love the Elmer Trail so much, that why not make some mini milk for elephants? We could do a virtual herd and all get involved. So that's exactly what I did. And now we're having our second lockdown, we'd like to invite you to join us. First of all, you need a milk bottle, preferably one that's been washed out with nice hot soapy water and left to dry. It's a good idea to keep the lid. And what you will need to do is, if you can see, there's usually a little rim just around here. If you can cut just around there to create an elephant shape, now cutting along the rim can be a little bit tricky, but once you've got that initial hole, it's quite simple. These edges may be a little bit sharp, so just be aware of that. And um, we need to trim a little bit higher up now. So what I'm doing is I'm just cutting a little bit higher. I'm gonna come across and make sure that my base is actually lower than the first bit of the trunk. That's really important, okay? I'm nearly there now. We've gone from this to this. Next, we're going to do the legs. You can use nail scissors or craft scissors. And it literally is as simple as that. So this is one side. We'll do the other now. As you can see, there's a little archway between. I then do another archway that is just at the front to create the legs. So you'll be cutting out these shapes. There we go. Now when we do the back, what I like to do is to create a little tail. So I do a kind of triangle shape, which I shall show you. Can you see that? little triangle shape and then I will cut in straight lines parallel to each other and it springs up to be a tail. You can also chop little chunks into it to create almost like a little, little fluffy edge to it and here we go. It is literally as simple as that. Now we have had many, many different designs of um, elephant, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So literally, you can do anything. You can paint directly onto it if you like. If you're going to do that, I do recommend using PVA glue mixed with the paint to help it stick a bit better. You can decoupage, which is a fancy name really, for just using um, either newspaper or um, serviette to do a bit of paper mache over it to create a nice solid layer. This one here, I used newspaper and then just painted over in some nice colours. We have got some absolutely crazy, wonderful, magical elephants and we would really, really love to see what you can create. We want the herd to grow, we want people to get involved, have fun and enjoy it. This beauty here is encapsulated in resin. And her name is Brittany. The idea being that she is in isolation. A little bit like our Will I Am, the woolly mammoth up at the museum in Ipswich. This one I think was inspired by Ice Age and made by the lovely Jaden, who's eight years old. We have actually got one from um, the last lockdown that Jaden had a haircut during lockdown and made a woolly mammoth out of his real hair, which is absolutely fabulous. Our little mammoth family will be popping down to Ipswich Museum when it opens up again too. And here are our beautiful herd on display. 
As you can see, they are currently in this lovely case. And here is a sneak peek of the Global Events Exhibition. Here we have Nazima's beautiful Good News and Bad News elephants. She had two different elephants, one of which she decided to reflect upon the bad side of the pandemic. So she was collecting newspapers and putting the words that were significant to her about the difficulties and the tragedies occurring. But she wanted to balance it out, so she also made a positive one. And there were some real amazing stories that came out of the, the first wave. When people were really getting together, they were helping each other. Neighbours were connecting. And it brought out something in us, something about our humanity, that was actually really beautiful. So that's reflected in this piece. And in here we also have my Portrait for Heroes piece, which is um, a piece of art I did of my mum. And we have some more of Nazima's beautiful elephants. We've got the rainbow one and the Zentangle one. Thank you for watching the video. We've had a fantastic time and I can't wait to see what awesome creations you come up with. We'd love to hear from you, so if you'd like to get in touch, please email Suffolk Archives and show us your lovely creations.